Settings, are you setting yourself up for success? And welcome back to LinkedIn to Lead Generation with Hannah Tai. Hannah, we're doing a four-part series. This is the first part of it where we're talking about these hidden things that you may never have learned about your LinkedIn profile or you may have seen them and forgotten about them. And uh, so what are we talking about in today's episode? Sure. So we're going to talk a little bit about the profile and we want to make sure that we're actually visible. So that's one of the things we're going to talk about. We're also going to talk about how to do some branding on your profile just to really market yourself a little bit better and how you can make sure that you're really stacking up well against your competition. Excellent. That sounds great. And you know, Hannah, we always like to do things in threes, right? So we're going to talk about the public profile. We're going to talk about selecting what others can see and we're going to talk about turning on your rank. Uh, so let's go through those and uh, you can educate me because I don't know what you're talking about because I'm just not the LinkedIn expert. So talk to me about what, it, what is the important stuff on the public profile. Right. So your public profile, so they, it used to be you could go through the back end in your privacy and settings and you could easily find your public profile and see what people could actually see when they are viewing you. Okay. Okay. Um, now they've actually changed things with LinkedIn. So what you would want to do is you would want to go to your profile mm -hmm. itself actually and there's a little button that says view your profile as and over to there's like a little drop down there what you're okay. going to do is you're going to you can customize your profile there so you're going to click on that and then you're <laughs> going to be able to say what you want people to see you want to make sure that your profile is all the different things are actually visible so okay. that when someone is researching you and finds you via Google or whatever that they can actually see all the things that you want them to see okay yeah, obviously, if I've taken all the trouble to create my, my profile and I've got it set to not be visible and I'm wondering why nobody's finding me, that might be exactly. a problem, right? Yeah. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So that's, you know, one of the things that you want to make sure that you're doing. Um, the other thing that you want to make sure that you're doing is unless you're doing competitive research where um, you are trying to... Um, make sure that like nobody knows that you're viewing them right mm -hmm. what you want to do is make sure you can go again in that back section when in your privacy and settings okay. you can go in there and what you'll do is you will t you can turn on how you will appear so it's either your profile picture in your headline or sometimes you may have seen um, it, there's something that says like someone from the industry in the greater Philadelphia area they'll okay. kind of do that or there's totally anonymous oh, so, so, I didn't, so there's a stealth mode huh? there is a stealth mode although they're getting rid of that apparently but, okay. um, but right now there it still is available um, at least in my profile it is um, but what you want to do is number one you want to th think of LinkedIn it's like a database right so if you are going to go in stealth mode it refreshes every whatever hour so you don't want to necessarily do that like an hour before you're going in to do your competitive research make sure you turn okay. that off because like, you may not be it's like, putting your, it's like putting your invisible suit on only it's not turned on yet and so you exactly. walk out and everyone can see you <laughs> exactly so make sure that you give it plenty of time but for the most part you want to make sure that that is on okay? okay that 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 actually that your title and your your headline and your photo is on because sometimes what that will actually do is spark conversation if absolutely you, yeah, if you're viewing people, you know, say you're you're in the people that I may know, right? And you're clicking on their profiles and you're like, hmm, this guy may or may not be a good fit. You know, maybe your phone rings, you go back and you just forgot. You know, that person then may be, um, you know, interested in actually coming and talking to you because right. you may have some synergies in common. Um, so you want to always make sure that you have your headline and your photo that, that setting turned on so that you know people because people are curious everyone loves that you know this person viewed your profile I right. mean we're all like narcissists. This person was checking me out right I mean, yeah, we're, like, all, we're all narcissists yeah, at heart right people. I mean it's very flattering <laughs> yeah so you know you might they, they might take a look at you and say oh wow actually I was thinking about sprucing up my LinkedIn profile I should give her a call you know whatever so you want to make sure that you do that 
Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've yeah. done that any number of times. Somebody has sort of looked at my profile. I look at theirs back. You know, we should be connected, and so I might, you know, actually reach out with an email and say, "Hey, I noticed you're visiting." That kind of creeps people out when they don't know. You know, it's like, "How did you know that I that I was, you know, looking at his profile?" Because some people right, don't, right. don't actually know that that's being shown, that's uh, being trans transmitted over to me, right? So right, right. All right. So our first step was, you know, absolutely, obviously, make sure your profile is turned on. Secondly, you can go into this back end setting here, and you can choose. And this is, uh, you know, great news, Hannah, because I did not know this this little feature here. So you can actually choose what mode you're in and how much people can see. <clears throat> I always right. wondered why I got those ones that said somebody in your industry. Uh, I, I, you know, I thought maybe it was just that we weren't connected, so I didn't understand that there was actually a setting for that. That's interesting. Yeah. So now, what is this rank thing you're talking about? Yeah. So again, in that back section, again, okay. What you'll do in your pro and manage your privacy and settings, okay, is when you look at that and they have all these little things you can click on. One of them is turn on, turn off, like how you rank, okay? okay. And the reason why you want to turn that on is every once in a while, okay, you can go in there and you can see how you're ranking as opposed to your connections and also other people in your industry, okay? That you're like, so it's really great to be able to take a look at that because you can see the people who are ranking above you and say, oh, okay, well, they have this on their profile or they use these keywords on their profile and, you know, they're ranking really high or what have they added to their profile recently. So it kind of gives you a little bit of some competitive research so that you can then go in and tweak your profile. Like the other day there's um, like an amazing woman, she's fabulous, um, I don't know her very well, but she's really a great <laughs> LinkedIn expert, yeah. you know, Bryn Tillman, like everyone knows who Bryn Tillman is, I mean she's really smart. And um, so of course she's like number one or number two typically ranked and I like went in there and I was like, oh well okay, she says LinkedIn about like 60 times on her profile, you know. Yeah. so. And you really got to start like you know putting more of these keywords in there. And even though I make sure to do that, she's definitely um, doing it more than I have. So it was just something that I was like, okay, you know, I've got to take a look at this and really utilize this. And this is all things that you guys can all do. So if I look in my industry, like you're saying, and I see who the top ranking people are, I, I can go and look at their profiles and see, okay, what are they doing differently than what I'm doing? Is that basically what yeah. you're saying, right? And yeah. see how I can spruce up my profile. And what does that rank actually mean, Hannah? Is that the rank in which I'm being displayed? I mean, or is it like, yeah. you know, is that like yeah. Google? Is that, this is the yeah. LinkedIn equivalent of being on page one of Google kind of thing? Yeah, it's like how many people, like, so in other words, like, you know, X amount of people like view this profile or whatever. Okay. So if someone types in like LinkedIn expert, you know, Bryn Tillman's going to come up like more than I am. Right, um, right. okay. To, not to my first level connections, but you know, to, to, to the general searching to the public. general public, yeah. Gotcha. Because she has, you know, so much, um, you know, she has all these key, the keywords really optimized to the point that, you know, she's going to do that. And plus, it, it also has to do with her activity level. There's a lot right, that goes right. into the sure, there's, there's more than just the what's yeah. in your profile, but still, it gives you a place to start and to, to sort of have the people that you want to model if you want to rank better. Obviously, it makes sense to look at the top ranking people and see what are they doing. What are I'm they doing? doing. Yeah. Yes, exactly. And, okay. you know, you're not stealing. You're just looking and you're saying, right. okay, right. you know, let's, let's be really clear. You don't want to, you know, take their stuff <laughs> and, and put it into your, no. You take your experience, but you look at the principles that they are building off of, mm -hmm. which is, you know, optimizing for keywords and doing all those different things and seeing the different things that they have as far as, you know, media sources, all sorts of that kind of thing and making sure that that's in your profile as well. Absolutely. Well, Hannah, this is great. We're going to keep talking about, you know, LinkedIn features that you're forgetting or that you never even discovered that will help you build a, a better brand, a better business using the power of LinkedIn. In this episode, we've been talking about 
some pretty obvious things that would be really bad if you didn't realize. And, and the first is obviously making sure that your profile is visible. That would be kind of a disaster if you kind of had that turned off. So check to make sure it's visible. If you're not getting people checking out your profile and you're wondering why LinkedIn isn't working, maybe that's a problem. Uh, then we've got this cool setting that I did not know anything about, which is you can actually moder modify how you show up when you look at somebody else's profile and what they see about that. And then going in and looking at rank, making sure it's turned on, learning from the people who are ranking well. This is great stuff, Hannah. I really appreciate it. So, uh, Hannah, I want people to connect with you because, the, you know, the, when they look at their profile and they realize, oh, my God, for the last six months I have not had my profile turned on, maybe I need Hannah's help. Uh, so the place to connect with Hannah is to go to her website, which is chatterboxsocialmedia.com, and the way to connect with her is to look for that LinkedIn icon, click on it, and go to her LinkedIn profile. Hey, go figure. The LinkedIn expert wants to link in with you and connect with her on LinkedIn, and she'll be happy to connect with you there. You can learn lots more, but spend some time at chatterboxsocialmedia.com. Make sure that you're connected with Hannah so you hear all about the, the rest of this four-part series as well as a ton of other stuff you're going to find there. We've been doing these videos for a while now, Hannah, so there's yes. a lot of them sitting over that are available to people. They'll be able to click in and link, link up with your YouTube page, and they'll find a ton of great information here. So, Hannah, I will see you on part two of this series. Thanks so much, Mark.